Ashley was being told different things while we were at Katie's event. So when I had her one-on-one, -on -one, I wanted to show her the text message conversation because at the end of the day, that's a private conversation. If I wanted to be shady, that would have been a perfect time to be shady in my text message exchange. Saw it, LOL. Can I, can I see, where, where should I? Go ahead, you can scroll. Now everyone leave me alone because I'm right. My whole thing is don't sit back and try to make it seem like I'm one minute like, Ashley, I got your back, and then I'm next minute, I'm like, <laughs> that's what she, never. My immediate thought was a miniature betrayal mm. because that's not something that I would ever do. I wanted to show her this is the conversation that happened. And no, if I said that I was sincerely, um, you know, like concerned about what was going on, I mean that. I wasn't laughing and joking about it. And it never was a laughing matter to me. Showing somebody else text messages is like walking in on them while they're going to the bathroom. Like, it's, it's a violation. My drama with Ashley, which is completely separate and just not related at all to Monique. And it just, it was bothering me that she felt like she had license to completely, in my mind, throw me under the bus when it came to Ashley. It just reaffirmed what I already knew about Candace. It made me feel really supported by my friend who Monique really had come through for me and for Michael. And that was a demonstration, like her actions actually matched her words, whereas that wasn't really happening with other ladies in the group. It just made me feel a little bit more confident in the fact that Monique really is my friend. Anybody that will display that kind of behavior, if she'll do it to Candace, she'll do it to me. Yeah. I think it just shows like Monique, most of the time is really only worried about herself and how she appears and yes. how, you know, so it's like, oh, well, let me make sure you know that I'm perfect, but at the expense of other people. I didn't show her our whole history no. of conversations. Not that that would even be in, in, anything interesting. We don't really text about much. Because so. Candace isn't interesting. Katie makes up stuff, but she didn't, she can't make up all those details. Yeah. Like... I, I believe, did you believe it? I, I believed it. There was a, a night that I went out with Ashley and Michael and Jacob. Monique, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And Michael told Jacob, when I call you, make sure that you pick up on your private phone. You know, whether or not Michael said it like jokingly or not, it yeah. was kind of a weird statement to make. Because Michael has been accused of so many things, maybe it is that we have someone who is looking for a place in our group. Are you saying that her man probably could have made this up because he's seeking it's attention possible. or it's spotlight possible. as well? It's possible. I don't even like that girl, Ashley. Oh my God. But if I feel like something is maybe a little fishy or contrived, you're that. gonna call it out. So I feel like me, I that could have been what that was. The fact is, because Michael has had such strong opinions and he does have very strong opinions, other people really do like to see him go through hard times. They, they like it. It's like there's some sort of vindication in the fact that, oh, something's happening to Michael. Yes. You're lying, KT. Seriously. Jacob was like, I felt like the way he came at me was like a flirtatious way. What? Yes. Whether Michael meant, hey, let's get together so we can have drinks and do guy stuff right. is... He still might have said it. Right, we yeah. don't know. Yeah, but I don't think she made that up. No. Michael and I did not celebrate when the case was dropped out. If anything, there was a feeling of relief because while both of us were really confident about what the outcome would be, we still don't 100% know. So it was more so just like a sigh of relief. The charges against Michael have been dismissed. There was no basis to the claims that were made, and the case has been completely thrown out. Anyone with a brain knows that just because your charges are dropped, it doesn't mean you didn't do it. The way that the media works is they don't really like to pick up on the positives. They didn't really want to fixate on the fact that the case had been dropped and that there was absolutely no evidence to back it up. But yet when the case had first been presented, it was a field day. So then the, it was incumbent upon us to now all of a sudden do our own due diligence to try to clear the air finally because that really wasn't being talked about. The way that she handled it, she, like she was so like nonchalant acting like Oh, it ain't no big deal. Oh, it's not true. Oh, it didn't happen. Oh, so it's like, oh, okay, you're good. Let's move on. Yes. So yes. she really didn't make it seem like this was affecting her at all. She was so stone cold about it, which I was surprised by. 
True. Obviously, something like this, I expect there to be discussion. It, I would be so naive of me to think that the ladies wouldn't be talking about it in some capacity. Of course I get that. Right. I feel as though there could have been more sensitivity about the fact that it really was someone that was close to all of us, that it was a situation that we're all in. I think Ashley did tell me that she felt like Monique was the only people that, person that was supporting her, which I like felt highly offended by, because mm -hmm. I, was, I was the one going to check on her. I was the one going to drive to her dance um, practice. Like, I was going to her restaurant. Like, Monique wasn't doing any of that. That was me. Ashley's been basically talking about how supportive I've been. Uh -huh. And Candace tries lumping me into what they've been doing, which is enjoying all of this that they're going through. <laughs> you think uh, they're enjoying it? Oh, definitely are. They are. I don't like seeing people hurt. I just don't, like, it doesn't feel good to me. I don't understand why uh, people enjoy seeing people go through rough times. If there are women so. in this family of RHOP yeah. reveling in Michael's challenges, it's because they're deflecting from their own lives. That's a projection. That's, that's a projection. Because that's You're something right. that Ashley would do. Exactly. Would, and so, the, the old Ashley would carry that bone and right. gossip. I did not revel in it. I'm not reveling in it. It was, I, it was, what do you say, the roosters come home to roost? The rooster it was a little bit of a moment there where you said, well, well, look at this. But then after I did that, say that, you were supporting her, but you also made it known, like, maybe you believe everything that he said. So for her, supporting her looks like just not really telling the truth, to be honest. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, so she wanted people just to be quiet and be there for her, which is hard to do. There will always be petty problems between us, and we'll always have some sort of issue because we are very strong-willed people. But the reality is when there's something life-altering or when there's something really serious, we probably should be a little more empathetic to each other. I was really there for my husband, and I supported him, and I wanted him to know that I had his back no matter what. And that reaffirmed, I think, to him how much I care about him, how much I love him, and how I'm always going to be there for him. <laughs>
I'm gonna die in this place. <laughs> like I, I, my life. I mean, and it wasn't even because you know there's there's haunted houses and then there's haunted houses yeah. and like, you know, you've been to a haunted house as right. a child and you're like, oh okay, yeah, I'm scared, but not really. So you know how they're trying to scare you oh. and like <laughs> not hit you. Oh, Candace, she ran oh, for her life. And guess what? I stole her husband for the night. I told Chris, forget Candace, stay with me. <laughs> well, I loved it. Yeah, well, I wanted to put on some, some makeup. And yes, it scared us. He was, he was getting his life. Who was the biggest baby out of everyone? Ashley. Oh, I'm sorry. Karen, who refused to go through. Oh, gosh, uh, I'm going to take a boat over to the other side, uh, yes. and I'll meet you all there. Yeah, right. Karen didn't even bother. <laughs> It was just like so dark. I think it was yeah. because it was so dark at times where it was like, holy shit, am I even gonna get out of here? Yeah. I might fall and die and no one's gonna even know. Like, I was petrified. I really yeah. thought this is it.